first problem subsidiary books record the following transactions in the purchase book and the transactions are given for the month of March 2013 so we have the format of purchases book here and we will see how we will record these transactions the transaction is on 4th March so 2013 being the year common I'll take it as 4th March I've given the date so purchased goods from Madhu clearly it is a credit purchase so I will just write name of Madhu then enter the amount in the amount column 2500 next the next transaction is on 6th March so 6th March it is purchased goods from Kalyan amount 6500 so just mentioning the name of Kalyan in particular column and entering the amount 6500 in the amount column now the next transaction is on 11th on 11th we have a transaction which states that bought goods from Ashok trade discount 10 percent now what is trade discount what is trade discount so trade discount is a discount which is given by the sellers to his customers in order to increase the sales indirectly it has nothing to do with recording so whenever there is trade discount we don't record the amount of trade discount rather we minus trade discount minus trade discount from sales and then record and then record because it is simply you can say it is a discount given by the sellers to increase the sales so therefore it has no impact on the purchase or sale of goods so rather we minus the trade discount from the sale value or purchase value and then record so let us see here how much is the trade discount so trade discount is 10 percent so what is the value of goods we purchased from Ashok it is given as 5000 so we say that as gross purchase let us treat that as gross purchases so from gross purchases of 5000 we should minus 10 percent trade discount so it comes to 500 so we will record 4500 so we have to record the net amount of purchase that is 4500 so in this case let us see how we represent this in the format so the date is on 11th March and the person from whom we purchased is Ashok so we can mention goods in bracket goods purchased at 10% trade discount then so what was our amount it was 4500 so here you are going to mention only 4500 now the next transaction is on 14th March which states that purchased goods from Praveen 1300 so just simply give the date 14th March enter the name of Praveen and record the amount of 1300 in his column next on 17th it simply states purchases on 7th it simply states purchases when nothing is stated purchases means cash purchases purchases means we purchased goods for cash so purchased goods for cash is a cash transaction so we don't enter it in purchases book rather we enter it in cash book now let us go to the transaction on 19th on 19th we have purchased goods from Gopal rupees 1200 so simply we will give the date 19th and we will mention the name of Gopal in particular column and you can enter the amount 1200 in the amount column 
Now, after that, the last transaction is on 25th of March. Again, we have purchased goods from Joshi. So being a credit transaction, we will enter on 25th. So we will mention Joshi's name in particular column, the amount 1800 in amount column. Now, all the transactions are over. You need to simply total the book.